The park actually got started when it was purchased from Squire Bottoms in 1901. They actually purchased the cemetery. It became an official state park in 1936. And since then, it was uh, evolving from 19 acres to almost 800 acres, um, one of the finest preserved battlefields in the country. You can come and experience all of Kentucky here. You can see what Kentucky looked like in 1862 and be able to experience its wildlife. And you can't do that in too many places anymore. It's a nature preserve. I mean, it, it's got, it's got uh, grasslands, it's got woods, it has uh, water um, streams. Um, Doctors Creek goes right down the middle of it. We have 10 miles of interpretive trails and the other 40, 40 some interpretive signs out there, but you don't have to, if you're not interested in the signs, you don't have to read them, but you know, people go hiking. We have hiking groups that come. Uh, we have folks that come and do geological tours for the rock formations around the creek. Uh, we have folks that just like to come out and picnic with their kids, and I really enjoy watching uh, the children out here just playing on the swing sets. And we always love the history. We want you to come and experience and, and really visit for the history. And if I can get any of that into you before you leave, no matter what, I'm hoping somewhere down the line you take a little of that history with you. It's the biggest battle ever fought in Kentucky. I mean, it's hard to fathom when you go out today and see these peaceful fields that, that just so much death and carnage was here. The participants here after the war, both Union and Confederate, always remembered Perryville as, as some of the most intense fighting they did. And these guys were in all the battles. It is the battlefield as it appeared in 1862. We're often very proud to say if a soldier could time travel and come back and walk across this field, he would say, I know this place, this is Perryville, because it looks so much the same. The landscape is a very rolling terrain. Uh, it's a typical Kentucky countryside. It was just a beautiful landscape uh, to walk across today. It was a terrible landscape to fight on. Myself and Kurt, the manager, we worked very hard to try to figure out what that landscape looked like. And then we, as a process, tried to return it to what it, what it actually looked like during the battle. So we spent a lot of days out here walking around going, I don't think that tree was there, maybe it was, maybe this tree line moved. And we used a lot of the original information from the soldiers to actually figure out what they were moving through, what the landscape appeared to as them, and then we tried to figure it out. And so far we've done a pretty good job at it. We have to study the, the people that lived here at the time, the farmers, where their fences were. We do lots of, lots of deed research. And in the process, we do lots of uh, genealogy on the local people that lived here. I mean, I have a whole family tree maker file of genealogy, just of the, what we call the original owners of the battlefield. So we, not only do we give out information, we also get a lot from, from the descendants of not just the soldiers that fought here, but the people that lived here too. Every year we rely on an army of volunteers just to keep the park in shape. And, and we have a wonderful maintenance staff, but they spend a great amount of their time just trying to mow and get the place looking good. Uh, if we want anything extraordinary, like the rebuilding of the log crib that's very prominently featured in one of the period drawings, that has to be all volunteer labor. We had the uh, Civil War Preservation Trust Park Day in April. Uh, the volunteers came and they built 200 feet of period fence that had collapsed. We can't get that without the volunteers. So it takes literally an army of people to keep this place running and then another army of people to put it back to the way it was in 1862. What fascinates me is the juxtaposition between the peace and quiet and just relaxing atmosphere compared to the, the carnage of the battle that, that put this place on the map. One of the places that I really love about the park is down on Jones's Ford and around Doctors Creek. That creek is lined with stone walls that were built in the 1840s and there's nothing more beautiful than to walk along that path down there and see those walls still standing and listen to that creek. I mean it's just peaceful as it can be and gives me some clarity about my job and what I'm responsible for and who I'm responsible to.